It's time to get a little nervous. Them spidey senses should be tingling now because we're going sort of a little off piste. We're heading to Beaver Town, and this is a brand new beer from them available in Sainsbury's called Heavy Gravity, a hazy IPA coming in at 6.5%. Lovely looking can, but what's it going to be like? And is Beaver Town craft or macro? Keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing this beer available in Sainsbury's. This is Beaver Town. Everyone knows Beaver Town because, um, well, they're everywhere really. You get them, you know, I've seen it on draft a lot more than a lot of other um, craft beer. Um, and, you know, some people think, oh yeah, that neck oil is really good when you start talking craft beer and you go... No, it's not. It's horrible. You know, you've not drank the likes of Daya Verdan, Polly's, etc., etc. You know, that may be your stepping on point, but really, I don't think they make great beer. Now, Beaver Town are owned by sort of the same company. I don't know if they're owned by Heineken or Heineken are part of some bigger conglomerate. So they're not really a, a craft brewery anymore. Uh, but one thing about this can that jumps out at me is the can artwork. I mean, check it out. You can see it's got this sort of slightly metallic sort of uh, coating. You can see it shining there on the light. Um, and it's, uh, I think it, you see that, that in the supermarket, you think that looks pretty funky, really. You've got a little uh, UFO, UFO there, and I'm not quite sure what this is on there. But it's a, a hazy IPA, it's 6.5%. I don't think I've seen stuff by them before at that sort of level. Um, and that's about all we know, 6.5% hazy IPA. So let's crack this open, get it in a glass, to see what it's all about. I mean, as I say, if it's craft or not craft, does it really matter? It's sort of craft-esque. Um, it's available in Sainsbury, so it should be widely available. So I think it's up to you um, if you want to watch it or not, if you want to drink it. I think I've got to review it because a lot of you are going to go out and buy it. You know, you're going to see it. So let's see if it's any good, you know, first. I don't really care if it's craft or not. I just care if it tastes good. That's really my sort of, uh, my criteria when it comes to drinking beer. I don't think I have huge expectations, but beer in a glass looks pretty good. It's orangey. We've got ooh, three fingers there, compacted white head. Looks pretty good. I mean, it is hazy, but not as hazy. It's not that sort of, you know, that custardy sort of colour. Uh, but, you know, you think of the recent IPAs that we had, certainly looks like that. And I can already get some aromas coming in before I put my nose to it. So that's a good sign, I think. There's a lot going on in here. There's a real sort of, you get a mango and passion fruit and papaya. And then you're getting subtle hints of oranges, little bits of pockets of grapefruit and other sort of citrus fruits. Smells pretty good and smells inviting. I'm actually looking forward to this. Let's hope it's going to be a good one. Cheers, everyone. Mm, it's not great. First things first is that you taste it and you think, oh, it's an IPA 6.5%, I expect it to be soft. It's quite a prickly sort of carbonation in there. Yeah, it's a lot, it's high, much more carbonated than you would really like. Flavours wise, it's a bit of a mixed bowl, really. A mix, it's a mixture without... I'm getting big hits of mango and papaya and, and passion fruit. And then the big washes of orange comes across. And it almost like the orange sort of over-dominates. And you get this sort of orange pith and orange peel, you know, that, and with that slight sort of bitterness in there. Yeah, and it's, a, it's quite dry. It coats the tongue quite a bit. It's reminded me of something. It's almost got a slight punk IPA sort of um, taste to it, but it's a little bit juicier than that. It's a little bit more fruitier. Mm, it's, a, it's a bit of a weird one, really. I mean, it's it's definitely better than neck oil, in my opinion. That's that's for sure. It's got a big punch of, of fruit flavours, 
but it, just when you think it's going all nice and tropical, then you suddenly get this sort of orange and it's almost like, it almost comes in sort of waves of different orange flavor. You're getting the juice and that, but then you're getting the pith and then you peel. And then when you sort of sits in your mouth, you think, it tastes a little artificial. It's almost got an orange cordial sort of flavor to it as well. And then, you know, and all those other tropical flavors that you had before have almost sort of disappeared. Yeah, I mean, for me, the more I drink it, the more I'm getting big sort of orange and passion fruit sort of cordial flavors. It's, there's not much bitterness in there, but it's got that sort of, sort of slight aftertaste of um of orange peel that just sort of really ruins the whole experience it's a shame really because it looked pretty good the can looked good um it looked you know it looks good in the glass got a head there that's nicely retained but there's something very artificial about it it's almost as if it's like a sort of ipa and they've added some sort of juices to it you know some sort of orange it's like, almost like it's got a beer with an orange cordial sort of flavor in it i don't think i can really recommend this there is a slight warmth as well you are starting to start to feel that 6.5 percent it's not a nice juice bomb ipa it's, it's but i think some people that have never had craft beer before probably will pick this up because they like to look at the can and go oh yeah that looks pretty good it's very pretty hazy ipa oh, i reckon that'd be interesting they drink it everything oh that's all right because it is almost a little bit see the more i taste it it's almost like a more amped up uh neck oil you can taste that they're from the same sort of family and you get this sort of, as you say, it's aftertaste. It's almost like a sort of, I think it's like artificial sort of, it's like juices has been put into this. After the beers, remember, it's got some sort of juice that it's made. And I hate beers that, that have that juice stuff in it. It just ruins it a little bit for me. And this is not a great beer. Can't recommend it. I can only recommend it if you like collecting cans, because I think it looks pretty, pretty, very pretty, yeah. Uh, but apart from that, it's not great tasting, but let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for Beaver Town Heavy Gravity. It's a hazy IPA at 6.5%, and it's available in Sainsbury's for, I think it was three pounds or three pound 20 a can. Great looking can art. But unfortunately, in the Rockers uh, scores, we don't have any score for can art. Um, so it's not going to score that well because it's not a great beer. Just before I do the score, I also want to say I mentioned a, uh, a Tropical Assassin uh, by oh, Roosters, um, which I bought. And I actually dr I drank it just last weekend because, and, and it was sort of later in the evening. So I, was, I didn't really want to do a review. I thought I'd just drink it anyway because it was something that I had cold. I thought, oh, I'll drink that because I can easily replace it from Sainsbury's and I would to do the review on it. But I drank it and to be honest, it was so bad. I had to pour it down the sink and I thought, I'm not going to buy that again because, uh, it's just, you know, even if it was three quid, it's not worth buying. I'm not paying three quid for a beer that I know I'm not going to like. Plus, you know, but so I'm telling you now, if you see that, avoid it. Um, it. It's not a great beer at all. And it's funny, actually, when I think about it, although that had a lot more bitterness to it, it's got that similarness to this in terms of it's got added tropical juice to it. And I just think that ruins the beers. Anyway, let's go through the scores for this. So first things first, aroma. So I first thought, yeah, there's lots of going on. There's a bit of mango in there. There's papaya and passion fruit and oranges and yeah but there's also this sort of the more i smell it now it's there's a lot of artificial smells in there i mean you could almost say well actually you know rocky when you re when you review other beers and it's like you know you've got your citra mosaic and simcoe in your beers nothing else in it and you smell it and you think, oh yeah it's got mango pineapple blah blah etc cetera, etc cetera. but they're not real they're not real aromas so they're artificial but this has been like, oh, we, we've made this beer and it doesn't, it's not fruity enough that we want it. So we'll put some fruit juices in it. And I just think that ruins beer. So aroma wise, yes, there's lots of juicy sort of smells, but it's still smelling a little bit like um, orange cordial. Orange suddenly comes in and dominates the whole sort of aroma. So I'm going to hit 10 for aroma. 
appearance. Well, I think that's, you know, can art looks good and actually the beer in the glass, it looks quite nice. You see there, we've got a retained head, a little bit of lacing in the glass, nice bright orange. It has got a haze, but it's not as hazy as a lot of decent beers that we drink on the channel. Um, so I'm giving it eight for appearance. That's quite a good score, really. Um, Flavour-wise, oh, God, yeah. I mean, it's, for me, it's similarities to neck oil. The, the carbonation is a little bit prickly for a start for IPA. It has this sort of, has those sort of fruit flavours, but they sort of come and go really quickly. And all you're left with this is, is this wave of orangey sort of passion fruit flavour that sort of comes in in a very sort of not right way. Um, you're getting a bit of, you're getting peel and you get in but it doesn't taste fresh that it just it's got this artificial taste that's the, the the best way i can describe it it does taste like you've got an ipa a traditional ipa and someone's put an orange and passion fruit cordial in it you know a top in it or whatever mixed it up because that's what it tastes like flavor wise it's not great and i i can't recommend it i'm i'm, I'm giving it 26 out of 40 i mean 26 is like a lot of points but you know if anything's half decent, it's going to go over 30, and this isn't. So 26 for um, flavour. Value for money. Well, a free quid-ish, yeah. I mean, you think, oh, that's not too bad for a 6.5% IPA, but there's so much better beers in supermarkets. You know, you're paying pretty much the same sort of price for the salt alpaca from Sainsbury's. And it's, a, you know, it's 10 times the beer that this is. So I'm giving it, yes, I mean, it's not overly expensive, but it's not great. You know, you can get better beers for the same price point. Um, a lot better beers, in fact, from supermarkets. So I'm giving it seven for value. And then my overall experience, I'm not really liking it. I'm not even sure I'm going to finish it because it just tastes wrong. It's like, it's, it's just got this really strange aftertaste to it that just ruins the whole beer it's not but it, it does if you like neck oil you'll probably like it but i'm not really a massive fan of neck oil sometimes i'll go into a pub and i'll go oh, yeah and it's like fosters and carling and then you think oh well and there's neck oil and you think oh i'll give that a try um and I, when i was uh when i went down to um to um cheltenham and we went to the day of factory uh the beer factory in the evening we went to a, a sort of more trendier sort of pub and they you know they didn't they had those your sort of normal sort of lagers and that stale and stuff like that and then that, this guy behind the bar said oh yeah you, you've been today you, you like craft beer you should i you should drink this and we go oh what is it and it's like it's called neck oil it's by beaver town and it's like oh oh then we'll have it and you drink it and you think i've just drank the most brilliant beers from day and now i'm drinking beaver town neck oil you know it was a big come down really and, it, and to be honest this has got you know it's along the same lines as that it really is if you like neck oil because you don't get out much or you don't try other craft beers and you might like it you know you might think oh yeah it's a little bit bit more i'm um, amped up but for me i'm giving it eight for my overall experience eight out of 20. so we took those scores up and it doesn't even make the bon jovi of beers 59 out of 100. sorry beaver town but you are the cold play of beer you know bland unexciting corporate i mean i think it's quite you know beaver town is probably a good good comparison with coldplay really but if you see this beer in the supermarkets don't be swayed by this lovely can art just uh, have another look and buy one of the other much better beers alpaca salt alpaca that's the one you want to go for if you want an ipa um 505 by tiny rebel even give that one a go over this um, there's other good beers, My Little Sabrony, um, yeah, okay, it's a Palau by R, but that's good. The uh, Citra uh, Palau, also by um, Arbor House, is, is pretty good. Sea Bomb, it's called. Um, they're better beers than this. So give that one a swerve, and uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And you know, I hope you get something from this and you think, you know, I saw that in my supermarket, and I thought I was going to buy it. You've seen this review you don't need to buy it now you can move on and save your pennies and buy something decent so hope you enjoyed this review and until the next one keep on rocking